Hi, my name is Julio Ramon here at ICANN, and today we're going to talk about balancing basics for the Beholder DS1 gimbal. Now the DS1 is a three axis stabilizer designed for DSLR and mirrorless cameras. It's lightweight, compact, and handheld, designed to get rid of all the extra bulk that you see with other three axis gimbal systems. Now, for this, the weight capacity is 3.7 pounds, which is 1,700 grams, and the battery life can last you between two to three hours, depending on your level of use, and also depending on how well you balance it. Now today, we're gonna balance a Canon 70D with a 17 to 40 millimeter L-series lens. Now it's important to balance, because with a well-balanced camera, the motors on your three axis gimbal won't have to work as hard. Having a properly balanced camera is key to achieving the best performance you can out of your three axis gimbal. Now there is a little bit of a learning curve, so it does take some patience when you first get your DS1, but it's kind of like riding a bike. The more you use it, the better you're gonna get. So with that in mind, let's move forward. Let's finalize our camera setup. It's important to finalize your camera setup because any slight changes that you make to your camera after you balanced it can throw it off completely. So you need to do things like take off your lens cap, make sure you have a battery, attach any filters you want to use, or even make sure you have an SD card. And for cameras with a flip out screen, here's a tip. Keep your screen slightly tilted forward. Having it in this position will reduce any rattling that may cause vibrations and affect your shot. That's something we don't want. All right. Now, if you look here, you'll notice that the DS1 has its quick release plate offset from center. So we need to keep this in mind when we mount the quick release plate to the camera. All right, so here we go. So we're gonna mount the quick release plate offset so we'll line up perfectly with the base of the DS1. Okay, now let's mount the camera to the base. Just slide that back. It's slightly bounced. Now as you can see, our camera isn't balanced at all. So we're gonna begin with the roll axis, and that's this motor located here in the back. Now if you see here, the camera's rolling over to one side, so we need to balance that by shifting the camera over to my left, or your right. So we'll unlock these yellow knobs, and we'll pull the entire system over to balance it out. I'm just balancing it, moving it slowly. And we're getting there. That looks good right there. So now that it looks good, we'll lock it back down into place. Now from here, We'll move on to the tilt axis, and that's this motor located here on the side of the camera. Now with this axis, you find your balance by sliding the camera forward and back. Now as you can see here, looks like we got a pretty good balance, but we're not done yet. With this axis, you need to have your camera balanced on a horizontal and vertical plane. Now as you can see here, we're balanced, but if we tilt the camera up, the camera falls forward. So what does that mean? That means that the center of the tilt axis is not center to the camera's height. That's why you have your camera falling forward. So how do we fix this? We have to raise or lower the camera to find our center on the tilt axis. Now, since the camera falls forward, that means that there's too much weight located on the bottom. So what we have to do is raise the camera up. So we'll unlock it and make our adjustments. Slowly. Now 
looks pretty good. So we'll lock that into place. It looks like we're balanced. Now a good way to double check this is by placing your camera at a 45 degree angle. You could tilt it up or down. And if it holds its position, that means we're balanced. Okay, so next we're gonna balance the pan axis. And that's controlled by this motor located here on the bottom. Now the way we check the balance of this motor is by tilting the camera forward. By tilting it, we're gonna see which way the camera falls and that'll give us a better idea of what kind of adjustments we need to make. So we're going to tilt it forward. Wow. Now as you can clearly see, the camera's falling over to one side. It's falling over to the front. So what that means, it is way too front heavy. So we need to slide this entire system back. We do that by unlocking these thumb screws and slide the entire system back. And we'll make a slight adjustment and see how that works. Better, but it's still not there. So we'll keep going. There you go, balance. So we'll make sure this is locked down. And now we can turn it on. And there you go. A perfectly balanced three axis gimbal stabilizer. The DS1 is available now. And for more tutorials, check us out at iCanCorp.com.